Let's take a look at the future bank structure and direct uh, implementation in practice using a Python example. So in this example, we will implement one branch for sub, -K, uh, sub band k equals to 1 of the analysis and the synthesis future bank with n equals to 8 sub bands and with 32 kilohertz sampling rate. Hence, the pass band is between 2 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz in direct implementation. We will start with designing a band pass filter using uh, the Remes algorithm, which is an Equiripple FIR filter design function. So first, we will import our Python packages. We are going to use SciPy signal for the Remes filter. We are going to use NumPy and we are plotting with uh, PyPlot and Matplotlib. So we are defining here that n equals to 8, then we are designing our band pass filter with these specifications here and then here is the filter impulse response so band pass k equals to 1 and n equals to 8 and here is the filter magnitude frequency response for the band pass k equals to n So now we will do the analysis filtering and downsampling, and for that we are going to use an audio signal. And this is the excellent song by Doug Aldridge called Midnight Sun. And for that we are going to use Librosa and IPython display to play back this audio. So we are loading with Librosa and we're playing back with uh, IPython display. And we are using the sampling rate for 32 kHz and this is how it sounds. <laughs> So we see that the length of sound in, is the, in samples is given by this number here. So this is the number of samples we have into this uh, audio data. And here we will then plot the original signal, so this what we have here. And then we can also filter our original input. So using the filter that we just built here, and this is we are using L filter from um, SciPy signal, and then we will have here our filtered signal. We will plot our filtered signal, so and it can also play back our filtered um, signal. we see we listen that it's uh, really filtered and then we will do the downsampling of our we'll do the downsampling of the filtered version so this is what we're doing here we're downsampling with a factor n equals to 8 we see that here we are playing back with the sampling rate of 32 kilohertz but then after the downsampling we are playing back with the sampling rate of 4 kilohertz and we see that the both audio uh, data have the same length the same duration in seconds but different length uh, number of samples and this is how it will sound Now, what we are going to do, we will upsample and synthesis filtering. So, we had our original file, we filtered it with this band pass filter, and we ended up with this file, and then we downsampled this filtered version, and we obtain this uh, filtered and downsampled uh, audio data, and now we are going to 
insert zeros in between these samples from this file here. This is the app sample. And then we will apply another filter, uh, the same filter what we used here. before and then we can listen so this is the up sampled version before synthesis filter so this is what we are playing here and we see that the up sample again is a 32 kilohertz so we inserted zeros it was in 4 kilohertz we start at zeros, it goes back to 32 kilohertz, but it sounds with all these artifacts and alias and components, but then we will apply the uh, synthesis filter to attenuate the spectral copies and we end up with and just Reminding that this is just for one subband, we can do this to all subbands, but this is just an example for one subband. So observe that after the synthesis filter, the signal again sounds like after the analysis filter, even though we had downsampling and upsampling in between. This means that we did not lose much information after downsampling.